Lee's excuse, if this is really shaky, Mitchell was like, it's not vlogging now. And it, that's fine, but when Mitchell drives like Lewis Hamilton I'm and we've driving got- driving 20 miles. I know, but there's a lot of bumps and corners well, around here. Contact the council. <laughs> It sounds so miserable in the vlog. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> anyway, it is Sunday morning and I just thought I'd pick up the vlog because we're actually off to see the house today. It's been a while. When, did, when was the last time I went and seen the house? I mean, it's been since December since you've seen the house. You can work there. No, I have not been since then on my own. Oh. Over Christmas. Oh, that is the last time then, both of yeah. us. Oh, so last time we actually went and visited the house was December. Like 20, I don't know. 29th of December, would it? So? Yeah, so very end of December. I don't know if I filled you guys in with the updates over here on YouTube. I know I did on Instagram, but basically, there was a couple of like minor issues when we went and seen the house last. So, number one, probably being the biggest one, was the bathroom floor didn't match to the tiles, which, to cut a long story short, we found out that it wasn't like Davidson's problem. It was, I think, the range of tiles, and I don't know. There was a problem with the tile company, I think. So they've agreed to sort that out for us. So we've now gone for the antico that we've got downstairs and we're having that in the bathroom. So I feel like basically the bathroom non suite vibes are gonna be all like a coastal vibe now because it's like a, not a laminate is it, but it's no, that wood no, effect, isn't it? Yeah. So I think it's gonna look nice, like it's, it's no problems. That's what I originally wanted. Did you? In a way, you know, just so it flowed through from the downstairs. Yeah, it's gonna of flow it. because like you say, it goes, with the downstairs and also it looks nice running from that carpet because the carpet's yeah, light and yeah. it, I don't know where it kind of goes. So anyway, that was number one. And number two was there was, I don't know, Mitchell will notice like if there was a stump or something that shouldn't have been there. So they're gonna sort that out. And then, what else? Oh yeah, the lights. We asked for, um, yeah, bloody hell, that was yeah, we asked for down, well, we've got down lights in the back room, but they'd also put two pendant light fittings in and we, we didn't ask for them. Yeah, I don't know. I think there was a mix up there, wasn't there? I don't really know what went on there, to be honest with you, because if, if, if you're an electrician doing that, you'd know not to put them there. Yeah. Put them there. Yeah. So, unless they've just gone to draw in, cover their own. Yeah, or maybe it was right. across across yeah. the drawer. Something yeah, happened, something but anyway. Easily fixed, so yeah, they were. I think that was that was it, really. See what it is like today. I feel like it's at the final stages now, isn't it? Also, oh, is that carpet flooring down? Carpet, I feel like she said wouldn't be down until end of Feb. Like, she was like, that's the very, very last thing we do. Well, yeah, because if they're snagging it, it'll you know, just spat. So, if I don't think if they're snagging it and stuff, and all the walls need, um, say, if they need filling or whatever. I feel like the carpet though and the flooring is the one thing I'm actually so yeah, excited to see. Like more than anything, that's what I want to see now. I'm not really bothered about anything no. else. I just I feel like carpet and flooring makes such a big difference, doesn't it? Well yeah, literally. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I feel like the stage we're at is it decorating and what did it say on the website? Just final touches. Just final touches. The build built in wardrobes will be in, all the bathrooms and stuff will be done. Yeah. Like showers in, like mm -hmm. screens up. But obviously the flooring. All the integration will be done. So your dishwasher, your washing machine, uh, dishwasher, fridge, yeah. hob, all that stuff we, we've not seen yet. Yeah. So that'll be all connected up. I feel like it's quite hard for Mitchell to visualise the kitchen, I think, more than anything, because obviously we're having that worked out, ripped out. Worked out, ripped out? <laughs> the worked out, ripped out and having quartz. So yeah. it's it's not like, it's not going to be the final article yet. No, we just had to pick a worktop, just any worktop. Yeah, just so it could pass the thing. So he was like, yeah, you just pick whatever, because it doesn't matter, we're ripping it out. Um, the garage is going to be done. Oh yeah, we've not seen the we've garage not, yet. The last time we were there. When did they put the turf down as well in the garden? That's another thing we've not seen. That could be now. So anyway, I thought I would take you guys with us this morning, just because it's been a while. I don't actually know if I've even brought you around the house on an actual vlog yet. Um, I feel like... Previously, it's been hard because normally I go in the week if I go on my own and obviously all the work come in are there So it's a little bit awkward, but it's a weekend today So no one's gonna be on site. So it's a little bit more easy to take you around And also I feel like you'll see more now because we are approaching the final stages My mum and dad are actually meeting us as well just so they can have a little nose because Your dad's, oh, not, this, this your dad's not even been here, has it? No. And your mum come when the She when literally it was came when like eight courses I brew. Yeah so Exciting times. Where are they? Why are my mum and dad always late for everything? I wonder where they get out from. Me. Hmm. Anyway, it's no makeup day for me today because I broke out in some spots and I'm, I'm healing them. Is this some? Um... Where? Anyway, I'm going to put the camera down. I need to go put her order and eye visits on. <laughs> and then we'll take you down to the hours and show you. Boop, boop. 
Okay, so I just thought I'd do a voice over for these few clips because it was a little bit chaotic with everything going on and everyone talking. But this is the garage. Finally seeing the garage with the roof on, the door on, there's so much space, which, yeah, we can't wait to have that extra storage. Then coming into the main back room, so this is the living, kitchen, dining, open plan space, which I feel like we'll spend a lot of our time in here. I just love how light it is, all the windows and doors. This is the kitchen, all done now, more or less. I think there's a few like panels to go on the bottom of it. But yeah, it's looking so beautiful. This is the utility room. We will probably put some cupboards at the top there at a later date. As I did mention, in the intro we will be getting rid of these worktops and the sink it's a shame actually with the sink because i do like the sink we'll probably keep the tap um but we can't even use that sink because with quartz it gets cut in but yeah we're having like full quartz splashbacks as well but that's something we're going to be doing ourselves when we move in but for the meantime they have to put a worktop on i think it's something to do with their checks and so they can sign the house off when we complete so yeah anyway that is the back room then moving on to the downstairs so we have a downstairs toilet waiting for the door to be put on and obviously we still don't have any floors everywhere then if we come upstairs to the bathroom so they had actually made progress and ripped up the floor that didn't match i don't even know if i've shown you the floor but yeah it was basically like a cream and it just looked so off it was supposed to match the tiles but yeah apparently it was a supplier issue so we're having like a wood floor there then this is the master bedroom which has a little wardrobe area this is going to be mitchell's wardrobe area how nice is that i also love the fact it's got a window in there and also a spotlight i initially wasn't sure on his wardrobe choice because he chose all of that but i actually really like it so yeah i'm glad that all works this is our ensuite again really nice size and that shower looks gorge and then yeah mitchell was just like measuring up bits and bobs then this is a spare room not too sure what room this is going to be yet but obviously i do need space for all of my clothes so one of them will be my wardrobe i feel like it's so hard to grasp everything when the flooring's not down i feel like that's going to make a massive difference but yeah this is the study room this is the main living area and yeah that's that's it so far that is the progress of the house at the moment literally not long to go now so so excited okay if you haven't already noticed we are back from viewing the house now and we did pop in for breakfast straight after just somewhere quite locally honestly the food there is so nice the breakfast is so so good the only thing is i just feel like i always say to mitchell it's one of them places it doesn't really look a lot just one of them like typical i don't know <sighs> don't really know how to describe it but it's not it's not anything inside and i said to mitchell it's crazy because I feel like if they just did something with the decor and made it look a little bit more aesthetic and nice, this would be so popular. But then it's a hard one. I said to Mitchell, I think it's quite popular as it, as it is. Like it's always busy when we go in there. But yeah, I just feel like it's a little bit of a shame that it isn't a, a little bit nicer inside. Because I do like aesthetic and just nice vibe um, caps. But anyway, really enjoyed it. Um, it's been a few hours since I've had that. And I'm just so eager to try this sponge pudding. I mean, it looks a little bit nothing um because i have just shoved it in the microwave just to warm it up with some custard i don't actually know if you're supposed to just warm the custard and then put it over it because it had icing on that melted the icing i don't know but anyway i'm gonna try it and um, so this was in the vlog before this so if you want to see the recipe for this it's in that vlog i mean i guess i could leave it in the description box for this video as well but um it's basically just old school sponge cake with icing on um and yeah i've just done some custard with it so let's let's taste test oh my god wow I do a sponge cake tastes so much better in the microwave warmed up with a bit of custard with I'm eating pudding at three o'clock in the afternoon but it's a Sunday anything goes you're either in or out <laughs> oh bless you good evening everyone it is a new day and this lighting is awful there's like a street lamp there and it's just kind of like shining half down of me it is not a vibe and it's also not a vibe that i look a little bit of a scruff i've just got a sweater on just this really comfy puffer coat my hair slicked back my makeup's about half off because it is a quarter past five on monday it is the next day so i did actually forget to vlog yesterday afternoon i was going to do the wardrobe room with you and pack all that up for the move and yeah just be a little bit organized but do you know what it was a sunday i felt like i just hadn't stopped all weekend like i feel like this weekend i've just been very much like on the content and working and as much as i love vlogging sometimes i feel like i don't know like do you know when you just don't want to talk <laughs> you just want to put the camera down and just 
do nothing and just actually have a little bit of time away from your job if you're like social media can definitely feel like that sometimes like you're constantly ticking you're constantly thinking of content instagram tiktok youtube and yeah i don't know i just wanted a sunday afternoon switch stuff we were originally planning to go out with our friends yesterday evening for a little bit of a date night but then that ended up getting scrapped because um her little girl wasn't very well so we just stayed in had a takeaway watched the film and it was just really nice you know like i just yeah really enjoyed myself today i've just had a good old admin day catching up with just emails i've really neglected them just lately i'm so bad need to get better but yeah i feel a lot more productive now that i've replied and got some more work in for february so that is really positive and a good start to the week but i just thought you know what i need to get out of the house i've not been gym today i'm gonna go tomorrow morning first thing i'm gonna set my alarm i might even book on a class for seven o'clock but whatever i do i'm going gym i feel like i do sometimes just need to force myself to go first thing in the morning because it is true what they say sometimes when you leave it until later on in the day you're just kind of making excuses as to like why you can't go whereas when you just get up and go straight away it's done for the day that's it so anyway i needed to get out of the house we haven't actually done a food shop for this week so i thought i'd bring myself along to sainsbury's i actually got some vouchers in the post from my nectar card because i do love a sainsbury's trip i feel like it can be a little bit dearer in some some places but i just love that they've got like a home place that you can look at the clothing i don't know there's just something about sainsbury's that i do really enjoy so i've got a voucher here oh is it valid today let me have a look so it's 50 february oh yeah it's actually valid six pound off when you spend 40 pound in store i think that's really good so basically if we do 40 pounds worth of shopping it's going to be 34 pound decent so yeah that is my reason for coming to sainsbury's let's do a food shop let's get some nice healthy food in for the week ahead i was gonna have hello fresh this week but then i completely forgot to order it so i might get back on that for next week because as much as i love sometimes having a break from hello fresh and just cooking as well i also then hate the fact that i've got to think of meals like that's where it gets me so yeah i don't even know this is the thing like i'm now going to walk into sainsbury's blinded not know what meals i'm doing for this week then end up walking around the shop for about an hour i need to think what i want to do anyway let's go in sainsbury's let's do our weekly food shop let's get organized okay guys i've just got back from my sainsbury's shop so i very quickly thought i'd just show you what i got before i put it away um oh, it ended up being a little bit of a spenny one because i had to get some cat food so annoying i ordered some on amazon and it's just not arrived so i don't know what's going on with amazon um and my delivery but yeah end up having to get that but yeah let me quickly run you down what i got so i picked up some baked beans because we've not got any in the cupboard and occasionally we just like a quick easy dinner like jacket potato tart cheese and beans picked up these because these were finally on offer in sainsbury's these sensations thai sweet chili crisps honestly absolute elite crisp then like i say need to get some more cat food so i just got these shiba fine flakes cat food has honestly gone up so much in the last few years um so yeah i've got them those and also they've started having these biscuits now which I'm kind of glad about because they're a lot cheaper than the ones i normally get for them um, so yeah, picked up some more of those. Also got them some treats. Bin bags, so expensive again. Um, but yeah, these are like the stronger ones. I think they're like £2.75 for a pack of bin bags, like honestly. Um, then just picked up an enchilada kit um, because we've got some chicken in, in the freezer to use, I think. So just an easy meal. I got this for a lunch one day this week. Carrot and honey roast parsnip soup. I absolutely love a carrot and honey soup. So I got that. Also picked up my favourite cordial because this was on offer and it's the crushed lime and mint oh i also got this nando's peri peri sauce we love a, like at home nando's and i just feel like with this once opened i think it stays in your fridge for six weeks so yeah like it's just a lot of dinners i can do with this i was thinking of maybe like a peri peri pasta obviously like at home nando's you can just use this marinade on a lot of different things so i love that then got some jacket potatoes that's mitchell's these were absolutely huge um so yeah i think tonight we're just gonna have tuna cheese jacket potatoes just nice quick easy meal because it's getting late now uh, i then picked up these it's hot cross bun season guys and honestly i feel like sainsbury's actually do the best hot cross buns like better than m and um, they had so many different flavors in so i got the lemon and white chocolate ones which sound incredible then picked up some pears for myself because i just try and have like one piece of fruit a day and i love pears i then got some cherry tomatoes i think we'll do this with like a salmon dish this week so i've got some salmon and then we'll do cherry tomatoes some noodles and then like 
Mediterranean veg. I think I've got a courgette somewhere. Where's my courgette? Oh, here it is. An onion. And then I think I've got peppers already in the cupboard. So yeah, that's one meal. Um, I got some cheese and garlic flatbread because I'm going to do a pasta one night. So me and Mitchell, actually, you know what? We'll probably half that, freeze the rest, and then just have a little slice of that with the pasta. Just a nice carby meal because I love a carby meal. Can't have, you know, like meat and veg every night. Um, then I picked up some mushrooms. Might chuck those in the pasta. Just a big pack of chicken prawns by the way a lot of these things were aldi price match so i know a lot of people do think sainsbury's is expensive which it can be for some things but like all of this meat was aldi price match so yeah um i then picked up some sweet chili cocktail beetroot for a poke bowl because we've got that to use up in the freezer i mean the chicken in the freezer we buy some chicken from aldi for poke bowl so yeah we're trying to like get down um, all of our freezer stuff before we move because obviously we're not going to have anywhere to put it. We've been out of the house for three weeks. Um, I then just picked up a big block of Cathedral City lighter cheese because this was on offer and I think we're about all out of our cheese. Got some avocados. Oh my god, me and Mitchell had this last week, the Wagamama Katsu curry and oh, it was absolutely insane. This with sticky rice, if you want like an at home fake away um, or just craving a katsu curry, really, really recommend this. Oh, I actually forgot to pick up the um, coconut milk to go with this. I'll grab it another time. But yeah, all you need is um, coconut milk with that. Cucumber for our little poke bowl. Also got these little pack of treats though, which are really good for pastas. Got some caramelized red onion sausages. These were on offer for like two pound, which I thought was really good value because they're normally like 3 50 or something. Um, so probably do like sausage and mash. More pasta. I really like this ribbon pasta. Some tuna, parmesan for pasta. Some more garlic puree. Um, toilet rolls. I also picked up some celery for myself just to snack on um, because celery is supposed to be so good for you and I don't really eat it. So, yeah. I should have probably actually got some hummus to dip that in. Schoolboy error. Um, just got some potatoes for like wedges and whatnot. Some asparagus. Some broccoli. Some flat leaf parsley for my pasta. Some tomato puree. And that is it. Oh, I did also pick up some galaxy little mini egg things to make sure, but he's already put them in the cupboard. Um, so yeah, anyway, just thought I'd quickly show you that little Sainsbury's food haul. I need to get on and cook dinner, guys, because I am so hungry and I feel like the time is cracking on. Like, what is the time? Half seven, half seven. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, let's roll. So hello, hello, back on the vlog. I'm literally just about to go out. Sorry that this looked really dark. It's actually so dark outside today. Um, but yeah, I just got ready. So I just thought I'd quickly show you an owl, an owl, an OTT. No, OOTD, nap of the day essentially, um, before we head on out. Um, I'm going to nip up to Frost Park because I actually forgot that I have two things to return from my mum that I didn't do on my last trip and they didn't fit her and I also picked up the wrong thing. She wanted leggings, not the you know, floofy tights. So I need to do that before it runs out. And I also just thought, do you know what? I've not actually started any home shopping for the new house yet and they have next home up there, Primark Home and also a TK Maxx. Um, kind of like, well, it's not home sense, is it? I think it's just TK Maxx. But yeah, they have home bits in there. So let's go and look. Just thought I'd show you, like I say, what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing a full Primark fit, New Balance trainers. It's also a Primark top. I got it from the like active wear section. Love it. I think it was like seven pound. Um, yeah, I quite like my outfit today. I just wanted to be like casual comfy and this outfit very much is that. But I feel like it's also kind of like put together. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's go out the door and go. Okay, so the first place I took a little trip to was of course Primark Home and they had all of the spring stuff out. It is honestly stunning. I'm loving all the pops of colour. Even though I'm not really a colour gal in my house, I do appreciate all the pastels for spring. Really, really pretty. They had some gorgeous candles, little plant pots, loads of flowers. So nice. I really liked that lavender diffuser. Um, they also had it in a candle as well, which I thought was really cute. 
Speaking of candles, Primark's candle section is really where it's at at the moment. They have so many new ins, so many different scents, vanilla and lavender, coconut. Oh my goodness, this smelled so good. Um, yeah, I'm really, really impressed with the candles. And as always, they're always at such an affordable price. I also noticed they had some new scents in their room sprays, which you guys know I love. My favorite is the clean cotton. And then they also just had some real nice, like girly Galentine's Mother's Day bits in. This wild rhubarb candle, again, was another favorite. I also really like this green vase that you can see now. Like, love that. Don't think I'd ever have it, but loved it. Then we move on to more neutrals, which you guys know is more my aesthetic. Really liked these coasters for three pound. Also these napkin holders and just these little like wooden bowls. These would look really nice with like an acai bowl made up in. Um, they also had some real nice tablecloths in like a beige gingham. And then we move around to again, more kind of like spring pastel colors. Then went around the corner and oh my goodness, this is where all the neutral stuff was at and again absolutely loved this dinnerware set from Primark they also did the matching like teacups which these were I believe three pound and they it was such good quality as well do you know when you just feel a teacup and it feels like a nice cup to drink out of so I may or may not have bought some of those for the new house but yeah love love those they also had some really nice tea towels in I really liked these spring floral pastel ones in particular and then I also spotted this wooden laundry basket which I thought was nice and also the wood shoe storage then moving around to the bathroom section they had so many nice like soap dispensers and toothbrush holders in particular I really liked this beige and wood one how expensive does that look and honestly it was so affordable obviously with it being Primark they also had some new infros obviously I liked this beige one which was 18 pound but I did equally love this love heart one which was very kind of Valentine's um pink love hearts loved it and it was only 12 pound I thought that was a real good price then moving around to the bed linen they had so many new in bed sets and they were honestly so cheap like I think it was 12 pound for a double set and yeah, I just think that's an absolute bargain. So if you want to change, maybe bedding up for spring, there's loads of choice. Also really like this blue striped set too. How nice is that? Anyway, that is the Primark shop done. I did end up picking a few bits. Next stop, next home. I don't feel like it's as good now it's moved into just a big next store at Frost Park, I'm not gonna lie, but they did actually have some nice bits in. So anyway, when I first come in the store, it had all the kind of like beige cream aesthetic out. Some really nice pieces. I really loved this clock in particular. I also really loved this vase. I feel like with a nice bouquet on your kitchen countertop, it would look stunning. The photo frame section as well was really popping off. Loved this one. Then I thought I'd also just have a little glance around the kind of dining table chair section in next just to get some inspo for what we're going to do for our bar stools and dining chairs i did really love these dining chairs but i don't know i don't know if they're too modern and they're like a bit of a trend so anyway the search is still on really like this mug but it didn't feel as nice as the primark ones and like i say i like a mug that you can drink out of and it feels nice i know that sounds really weird they had so much spring stuff in gals like if you are a spring person and love decorating then next home is your place I also loved those pink salt and pepper pots. Even though I'm not a colour gal, I could make an exception for them. And I really liked the teapot as well. But yeah, they just had so many gorgeous bits in. Loving all the pastel colours. Like I say, it's nothing I needed, but yeah, I was really drawn to this section. Oh, these petal dinner plates as well. Really, really liked those. Also really liked this spring mug. But yeah, in general, they had some really lovely bits in the kind of kitchen section of next home. I also spotted this lamp, which I really liked and thought it'd be nice for the bedroom. Then we move on to the bathroom section because again, next home are really, really doing well with the bathroom section. They have so many nice bits. Like if you was doing black and wood for your bathroom, I feel like these accessories uh, would look so nice in your bathroom. We then moved over to the section that I wanted to look at the most, which was where they had all the beige kind of soap dispensers and toilet accessories. So this is the set that I was after and I'm pretty sure a lot of it is out of stock online. So it is gonna be one of those where you kind of need to go in store and have a look, but how beautiful is this? And honestly, the quality is so nice as well. I feel like it's really gonna go with our bathroom and like the aesthetic and vibe of it. Also I really liked this re-diffuser and it also smelt so good. This little tidy basket, how beautiful is that? And then obviously a bath tray, everyone needs a bath tray. Look at this, home to dinner. What have you cooked up tonight then? Ah, I don't actually know. <laughs> you don't know? I literally winged it. So what is it, treat, so prawn, 
pasta. Peri peri pasta. Blimey now, our finger pa I, I said I'd have half of that, babe. Mm. Save it. That, that is a I'm lot. I'm more of them in half. Well, oh, yeah, kid. you was moaning about yeah, waiting and everything. I'm not a kid. You what you can't do that, Mum. Okay, I'm gonna cut that in half. Is it nice? I've been cooked, though, you know? Yeah, okay. Um, sauce? Um, no, I'm alright. There's enough sauce there. Is that? Right, I'm gonna tuck into this, guys, and then I'm gonna show you my little home haul um, once yeah, once I've eaten this, because I am blooming ravenous. Okay, guys, we've had dinner, and I am yet to show you my little haul from Next to Paramount, so I'll do that in a minute. But before we do all that, Mitchell wants to tackle another cupboard in the house because like I say, we've only got three weeks now until we need to be out. So we're just trying to do a little bit each night, each day. So then all we have left on the last week is just the furniture that, to be moved out, which we're taking to Mitchell's friends, um, like, what is it, like a warehouse? Just work. Yeah, work unit. So yeah, I'm just gonna put you on a time lapse. I think today I'm gonna tackle the baking stuff. So just means no more baking until we move out now. So I'm gonna just put all of this in a big box, label it up baking, and yeah. I mean, I'll have to organize it all on the other side, but it's fine. To be fair, I mean, well, they don't, they don't actually look that organized. I might just quickly organize through them a little bit now so they look a bit more neater. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's get cracking. I know that you're curious. I know that you're strong. But life can be furious and things can go wrong. You go, you go, we're better off tomorrow. But who knows, who knows if we get joy or sorrow. Stay true to that fire in your heart and your soul. Okay, bacon is all packed away. Um, so yeah, next time I see you, we'll be in the new home. Bye bye. How organised is that? I mean, I mean, just if that writing was bad, then look at it on the side. <laughs> and then on the side, I want to put it on each side. So then, if someone's picking it up, they can see it like clearly. Yeah. Anyway, that's getting taped up. Bye bye. Good afternoon everyone, this is the next day now, it is Wednesday, it is actually 20 past 2, it's a little bit late in the day, well it's not late in the day but do you know what I mean, it's afternoon, I've been absent this morning on the vlog because do you know what, I've just took a little bit of time out for me and some self care and going to the gym because I don't know, I just feel like it was very much well needed today, I can't even remember the last time I did my tan, like washed my hair, put some waves in it, um, do you know what I mean, just a few little like beauty preps and you know i could go and book myself in at a salon and stuff but do you know what sometimes i just really can't be bothered to like drive to a salon and then like sit there for hours i feel like i have to be in the mood to do that um other than nails i don't really go and get any other beauty preps done unless it's like a real special occasion like holiday yeah i think that's pretty much it um so yeah this morning got up went to my body pump i did do a few emails for an hour and then got home and i thought you know what i'm just gonna make myself some breakfast have a bath and just like i say do a full little self-care routine didn't vlog it because i feel like not a lot's changed i do have some self-care videos on my channel if you want to go and have a little look at those and also i wasn't in an hour enough to blog blog vlog doing my brows because i actually did some brow lamination this morning what are we thinking of these I know like brow lamination isn't for everyone, but I don't feel like I have them. Like, I do have like big brows, but that's just how I prefer. I like, do you know what I mean, more hair than like thin brows. Um, I think because I've got like a bigger forehead, I just, yeah, I like bigger brows. That is the point I'm trying to make. But yeah, I don't like them too sonicky. I kind of like, do you know what I mean, curve the like edges. I do have a few little gaps though, so I need to put some brow growth serum on just to try and get them bits right. And I feel like this one's... I don't know, I don't like this one. I'm not gonna lie, I do love going to the salon every now and again and getting my brows done because obviously they are the professionals and I feel like you can't be going to your brow gal and them sorting out the shape for you. Like, yeah, I'm not very good at that. Like, I can do everything else, like the tinting and all of that, but when it comes to shaping myself, I can't really do it. I think I might book myself an appointment with my friend Jess soon because she's got her own salon in Leicestershire and honestly, she's unreal. She did my lip blush um, and yeah, she does like microblading, 
brows, lashes, all that kind of stuff as well. Has gals in her salon as well that does it. But yeah, I think I'm going to book an appointment in for like an LVL brow lamination, maybe before my birthday, so like end of March. Anyway, I'm not promoting doing all this yourself because obviously do it at your own risk. You have to obviously do like little patch tests and things like that. And obviously it is better to go to the professionals for these things. But every now and again, when I just need a little pick me up, you know what I mean, I will do these myself. So yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. I put my tan on, like I say, washed my hair, like I had a good scrub as well, and my brows. What else did I do? Oh, I tinted them too, to put some nice skincare on. That's about it. I could have actually done with doing an LBL because I feel like that changes you massively when you've not got no makeup on. Really makes your eyes just look so much more wide, but I couldn't be bothered. So I think I might do that later on when I'm like watching Love Island and I also need to gel my toes. So. Those are two beauty things we're going to do later, but I do need to get some work done now. I need to crack on and have a little bit of a productive afternoon, evening. So, first of all, I need to show you the bits I picked up from Next and Primark Home yesterday, because I haven't actually shown you yet. So exciting, honestly. Oh, I feel like now I've actually started doing a little bit of home shopping, I'm in the mood for it, and I'm just, yeah, really, really excited to move. So I'm going to show you those, and then I feel like we need to get a crack on with my wardrobe room. I was thinking, do I do that as a whole separate video? But I'm hoping I'm not going to do, I don't know, I'm not going to film too much. I mean, it's not that entertaining, me packing a room away, but... The kind of important thing that I do need to do that I thought may be interesting to you guys is like pulling out capsule pieces that are going to like see me through for the next three weeks because as you guys know, I said it already, but we're handing the keys over on how many days are in February this year? I don't even know. But anyway, we're handing the keys over, I think maybe the day before the 1st of March. Yeah, it must be because yeah, we've got to be out of here by then. So anyway, basically here until the last day of Feb. So, I'm then going somewhere for three weeks. Where? I don't actually know yet because I'm still up in an RA. I found a cute place in the Peak District, so I may book there. I'm just waiting for them to get back to me though about cats. I just think it'll be a nice little, do you know what I mean? Like wholesome breakaway. I can still get some work done. I've not packed my diary too much for March. Like I've massively packed it for Feb. So yeah, like I have so much work to this month. Like two months work to be honest with you. Like my pay from this month as well is gonna be probably about two months of work, which I've done on purpose. So like I say, I can take it a little bit more easier in March because I don't know how easy it's gonna be for me to film like not in my home and things like that. So yeah, anyway, thinking about doing two weeks in the Peak District and then I was just going to play it by ear because, you know, there might be a chance we get the keys a week early, there might not be, I don't know, um, but if not, I'll just have to find, I mean, I don't know if they have any availability for the third week too, but if not, I'll just move around and find somewhere else for a week. But yeah, getting back to my point, I need to kind of like pull out all my capsule wardrobe pieces um, and just some clothes that I can kind of rotate in my wardrobe for three weeks, so that is the POA. Um, but yeah, let's go and get all these bits from... Do I bring them in here, actually? Or do we need to change the scenery? I just never know where to put my camera in this house because the, the lighting's not good. Let's sit down here. I don't think I've ever sat here in my life in this house. But we're next to the bags. So, oh my God, this is so exciting. Gonna start with Primark home first. I feel like I spent £34 in Primark. So I wanna give you the prices just so you can see how much I got from Primark compared to next. Obviously, it goes without saying, I feel like... You know, even though the things from Primark are beautiful, next, like, I just feel like it's a bit on another level. The quality is amazing. I really, really love the piece from the pieces from next. I mean, I love the pieces from Primark as well, but yeah. Anyway, so like I say, spent £34 um, and I picked up bits for the bathroom mainly. So, I've already said this, but we're going for coastal vibes with the bathroom now because we've got like a wood kind of floor, white with like a speck going through. It's not a speck, like a gradient going through them that I feel like has little bits of beige in. So yeah, we're going coastal vibes now. So that is the theme. So first thing I picked up from Primark was this Mimosa Vanilla and Tom Clark Reed Diffuser. This smells unreal. Obviously you can't smell it through this, but they had the cans of this, which I bought, and it smells so good. And I really liked this, can you say, this Reed Diffuser bottom bit. Um, yeah, I feel like that looks really expensive, and it's got white reeds, which I think are so gorge, and this was only £6. £6, absolutely love that. I then picked up some microfiber cloths, because obviously out of the old, in with the new, these are um, £1.50 for five, and they're just like all gorgeous shades of kind of like brown, grey, cream, so yeah, I think they will look really nice in the new house, well, 
they're not sitting anywhere but do you know what i mean they'll be nice then moving on to the next thing i picked up from primark so to go with the re diffuser i got the matching candle um obviously in the same scent mimosa vanilla and tonka oh my god this smells so unbelievably fresh and guys guys how much would you think this is it's in glass like it's beautiful three pound three pound absolute bargain and uh, then i picked up some super soft face cloths these were only two pound fifty obviously pack of three and i feel like this is probably the color we will go with our towels because i don't want to be too white i don't want it to be too clinical obviously the bath suites in white the tile base is white and then like we've got a kind of medium wood floor so i'm thinking something in between like maybe this kind of color taupe so yeah, maybe like taupe for our bath towels. But I bought these to maybe potentially put on a bath tray that goes across the bath and like roll them up really cute. I don't know, but I love those. Right, then moving on to a like bathroom set. So let me get it all out and show you. Okay, so first up, I picked up this from Primark. I had my eyes on this for a while now and they actually had the full set in stock at Foss Park so yeah I had to get this because I just think this like natural colour with the wood I love I'm not sure which bathroom this is going to go in yet obviously we have a main bathroom ensuite and downstairs loo but yeah I just absolutely adore this so the soap dispenser was £4.50 this was £4 and then um, the tray was £6 to be fair, probably we'll go in our ensuite, Joe, just because it's got this. We can maybe have, like, toothbrush, toothpaste in there. Or, do you know what I was thinking? Because, like, you're only going to brush your teeth in one room. I could have just got two of these and done, like, hand soap in one and hand lotion in the other. So, yeah, I don't know, but love that. And then I also got the matching toilet brush. Now, I know that a few people are a bit funny about toilet brushes and don't like them. My friend Danielle will be in one. We was having this conversation the other day, and she was like, what, do you have a toilet brush? Like, it's so unhygienic, you don't need it. But when I'm cleaning, I just love a toilet brush to, like, clean the toilet. And I always bleach after anyway, and obviously replace them quite often. To be fair, this one's got a white head on. I prefer them when they're black, but... Yeah, anyway, this was £7 and I obviously just wanted the matching set. So, like I say, that was everything from Primark and I believe it came to... Oh, I actually have the receipt here. £34.50, which I think is a bit of a bargain. Um, right, then next up, we move to Next Home. Next Home has my heart at the moment. There's so many beautiful bits in there. So, right, I'm going to jump onto the first thing, which probably is one of my favourite things. But I'm going to actually have to return this. Or I might keep this and just get the bigger one. Basically, on display was a bigger version of this free diffuser. And I just saw this behind it. So I just automatically thought it was that one. And Mitch was like, how did you think it was that? Because it doesn't, you know what I mean? The box isn't as big as the free diffuser you were looking at. But anyway, I'll show it you so you can see. But the bigger one is the one I wanted. It's gorge. So, so gorge. So, oh my God, how nice is this? This is going to be for our main bathroom and the scent is oak moss. Um, so top notes, we have pink pepper, eucalyptus, lemongrass, and then we've got patchouli, sandalwood, oak moss, mugwe. Don't even know what that is, but it actually smells so nice, like very bathroom vibes. So yeah, this is what it looks like. How stunning. Oh my God, I absolutely love that. So yeah, I don't know whether to keep that for... Just like, I don't know, somewhere else in the house. Because it is really nice. Maybe I could just have this in the kitchen. Oh, I don't know. But basically, the bigger one, which is a lot bigger, I think it was only something like six or eight pound more. So, yeah, it was kind of a no-brainer to get the bigger one. But obviously, I didn't realise that was a smaller one. And then, the other bits I picked up were... Oh, my God. <gasps> clumsy use of my middle name guys i that could have ended in disaster have i chipped that do you know what kudos to next good quality stuff <laughs> let me get them both out you know what now someone said that this reminds them of white chocolate fingers i can't even see it but i don't care i love the white chocolate fingers bath set so this is the set i picked up and i feel like we're gonna have this in maybe the main bathroom so this is the soap dispenser i just love this it's like stone um and it's got can you see it's kind of like a very like beige taupe color and it's just got like specks running through so that was 12 pound love so a little bit more spenny compared to the primark and then this is for your toothbrushes and toothpaste got a nice space there 14 pound and of course i did get the matching toilet brush which was six 
16 pounds it's got a black toilet brush um so yeah that's for the main bathroom they do also in this range have the bin but the one thing that put me off a bin right is the bin doesn't have a lid on and i quite like a bin with a lid so i just think if anyone's coming around your house like a guest and they need to put anything in the bin you know especially like a gal if they're using like sanitary towels or whatever who wants to chuck it in an open bin like you don't do you so yeah i'm not sure on the bin and it was quite big so i don't know i'm and ahhing about that then also they have oh my god in this range basically like a free set for like your shampoo conditioner and body wash which i think will look gorgeous like in the shower displayed so i'm waiting for that to come back in stock because it wasn't in stock online or in my local next um what else do they have in that range oh they have a little tray i was umming and ahhing about the tray but i did decide against it i may get that at a later date i'm not sure you know i like it but i don't want to go too over the top with having you know what i mean everything matching anyway that's my first little mini home haul of things that i have bought i'm gonna wrap all this back away now and then um yeah i think we'll go upstairs and start start clearing stuff out okay taking these upstairs with me guys i've got two big boxes here do i think these are going to be enough Probably not. Excuse the mess on the floor. Um, right. <laughs> Excuse the boxes. Let's see what we've got on our hands. Okay, so this is the current situation. My wardrobe is a mess. I've just, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Do you know when you know you're leaving somewhere? I feel like you lose all motivation to keep somewhere tidy. Well, I do anyway. Um, so, huh, I feel out like of breath coming up the stairs. Oh, let me turn my phone on silent. So... I feel like first things first. <laughs> what is that? I feel like, oh, that's Buddy's Christmas outfit. I don't know what that's doing out. I'm going to put bags away because I don't really use any other bag except my coach or Jacquemus bag for day to day. So I think they can go in a box. Hats and things can for now. And yeah, I think then it's just a case of going through coats and jackets. And like I say, just pulling out key things that I wear and can't re-wear. So yeah, I think let's just put you on a time lapse. It's a bit dark in it i'm really sorry about the lighting like it's not the biggest of rooms if i just give you a little little pan we literally just have like this small walkway two wardrobes on this side oh shoes as well i think i can put them away so one thing i did do which you might have saw in the video already from i think it was like last year i did this is i put all my summer stuff in these boxes which is really handy because i can literally just take them down now and that's done we would also have this wardrobe so I've got some summer stuff in there, but I feel like that has all come and done. So yeah, need to sort that out. Go, I mean, that's Mitchell's wardrobe there with all the shoes. That's his little bit of wardrobe there. And he also has drawers in the bedroom, which I think he's cleared that all out. So yeah, anyway, let's get you on a time-lapse. Lost but not forever. Things in life you simply need to know But sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the end Don't wish for indifference, you're not one of those We fall, we fall, but we always rise up through it all, it all We get a little wiser Okay, guys, just thought I'd give you a little bit of update. It's a little bit later on now. Look at all this mess. You only just have, like, bits and bobs, and you don't really know what to do with it, don't really know where to put it, but you, like, want to keep it. <sighs> I don't even know where to put all these bits. Um, but progress. Probably thinking there's no progress because all my clothes are still here. But I have actually filled two boxes. So I did bags and, like, jewellery and accessories, and then I've put boots in here. So... All of those are clear um technically that one i need to move that and then yeah again i need to find space for those little bits um and then i've cleared them to well to be fair i can condense them down to one 
but like I say I just need to keep a few out for the next few weeks I'm probably going to keep maybe two to three pairs of trainers out and maybe some Uggs as well but yeah anyway oh my goodness I just remembered I forgot to pick up the boxes I went with my mum's to get boxes and I actually forgot to bring them anyway I'll grab them tomorrow morning I just need to pack away the clothes now so I think we'll leave that until tomorrow but yeah we've got to a good start we've done two boxes every little helps you know what I mean um and I've took the boxes downstairs moved them out of the way apart from that one so yeah anyway that is it for tonight um I am now gonna go downstairs wash up because we've just had dinner sausages and mash tonight which was scrummy um and I'm actually gonna have one of them dime bars that you had earlier and robbed of mine what was it a chocolate orange dime Unbelievable. I'm gonna have a cup of tea with that oh, you're so lazy look it's literally behind you I'm watching the penners. Mm, right, let me do it. Okay, finally sitting down with an after dinner cup of tea. I just fancied one. I don't normally have a cup of tea after dinner, do I? You but have a cup of tea every hour. <laughs> don't have one every hour. Um, just really fancied a cup of tea. By the way, mug is being um, how stunning. It's their new spring range. Oh, that's good tea as well. Um, and for pudding tonight, I'm having a dime bar i always like a little sweet treat but this is just not any other this is not any other this is not any dime bar this is an orange dime bar i got it from b&m again um and yeah limited edition this looks sensational dime is like one of my favorite chocolate bars ever so yeah let's tuck into this i'll give you a little update and tell you if it's any good good evening guys i am just currently editing this vlog and basically what it was is it wasn't that i didn't do an ending i've just been vlogging that much that i don't actually know where the beginning and end is of the vlogs so i kind of continued on the next day but obviously editing this and getting to 45 minutes i was like mm, there's actually too much footage here as is so i'm just going to end this vlog here and then with all of my other footage it will be in a new vlog but yeah i feel like i'm really on the vlogging game now um but yeah i really hope you have enjoyed this vlog i feel like it won't be long now until we're fully in kind of like moving vlogs like moving house moving into the house so yeah really really exciting and anyway she'll see you all in my next video Bye bye